Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be kind of doing like a productive vlog, but it's going to be resetting my life and getting myself prepared for A-levels. I have so much I need to organize and kind of plan. And I thought this would be a really useful video for you guys to watch if you are preparing for your GCSEs or A-levels or even just mock exams this year and you wanna get yourself as organized and ready as possible. So I thought I would bring you guys along to do that with me today and you can take some inspiration from what I'm doing. So as I'm filming this I've just finished my last set of mock exams and I am just under five weeks away from my first A-level starting which is actually psychology on the 17th of May and I'm feeling pretty prepared generally but I just need to like reset and organise everything so yeah it is currently, I don't even know what the day is today. 14th of April so as I say my first exam is the 17th of May so I'm literally just under I'm just over a month away from the first exam I thought we would start by kind of organizing my room and cleaning my room because after mock exams that always gets a little bit of a mess and all my drawers kind of need a bit of an organize and I feel like I can't go on to organizing all my schoolwork until my other drawers and my wardrobe and everything is clutter free if you've watched my videos before you'll know I'm incapable of keeping this wardrobe tidy currently what we're dealing with to be fair it's not too bad I think this one's usually worse because it's got all my Easter stuff in and then these drawers have all of my school work in so as you can see they are not particularly organized and I need to do all of these ones as well and I've got a vanilla iced coffee and we're gonna get started with some organizing right now I think I'm gonna start with the wardrobe Okay, so as you can see in the back of my room, it's a little bit of a mess right now, but I've just finished organising all like my beauty and hair care drawers. And we're now going to go on to organising all my schoolwork, so let me show you how I'm doing it. Okay, so I have my Alex drawers, and in these are three. So we've got psychology, chemistry, and biology. I each have a drawer, which has been really helpful, but I just need to actually organize them because that's not organized. Um, and I'll show you what I'm putting in each one. Just emptied out all of the drawers and I've started with psychology. So I'm gonna show you kind of how I've organized my psychology drawer. So at the bottom, I've got all of my plastic wallets for paper three, which is issues and debates. Um, these just have a different plastic wallet for each debate and they were in a folder, but I've actually run out of folders. So I don't think there's any point in me buying a whole new folder just for this stuff when I'm literally gonna store it in this drawer. So I'm just gonna put them at the bottom. Then the next thing I have is a bunch of past papers that I printed out to do as revision. Yeah, there's just three here, but as I print out past papers, they will obviously go in this drawer as well. So I'm gonna put them in. Then I'm gonna put in this notebook. This has got all of my paper three notes and essay plans in, but it also has where I've been doing practice essays at the back. So then I have this folder, which has got all of my paper two essay plans, feedback assessments in. And I also have the exact same thing for my paper one. Um, I have a folder with all the essay plans and stuff in, so those folders are going to go in now. And then the last thing is I've got these two plastic wallets which do come to college with me quite frequently, so I'm just going to leave them at the top. One has got all my homework that I've been set that I need to do, and then this one has got my last mock exam that we did, our like assessment feedback stuff in, so I need to take that in quite a lot. The big lever arch folders with all of the notes in are still in my wardrobe. I don't take them out very regularly anymore because they're kind of like class notes and stuff, but they're just all being stored in my wardrobe. I've just organised everything that I want to put in my chemistry drawer, so let's move on to that. So there's significantly less in this drawer because all of my notes are in my leave arch folder which as i say is in the wardrobe so this is mainly kind of revision stuff to be fair that goes in these drawers first things first i've got my uh practical exam question booklet which is like really chunky um so that's gonna obviously go in there um then i have two past papers these i think these are both paper 
the room. Yeah, two paper three pass papers that I was obviously using as revision for my mocks. Plastic wallets for organic and inorganic. The last topics that we covered, but to be honest, I don't think there's any point in me taking them out because I do want to go over them fairly soon. So I'm just going to leave them in here for now. Um, that's everything for chemistry. So we're going to move on to bio. Biology probably has the most in this drawer just because there's so much content for bio. So let me show you how I am organising this subject. So this textbook, I rarely ever use this to be honest. It's a really good textbook to kind of summarise stuff. Have I ever done the practice questions in it? No. So maybe I should do that because um, I own it it probably should get used so okay then i have my biology specification you guys can actually access these on my tiktok they're in my a-level biology playlist over there and you can just screenshot them and save them um but yeah it's basically like a condensed checklist that's just a little bit more easy to understand everything on there so i just keep that in there so i can check things off once i've covered something a stack of um exam papers and test papers that i've done and i've got my actual mock exams these like homework assessments i then have my biology revision folder which has all of my module uh, my map summary sheets in there they're like divided by module and then lastly I just have my plastic wallets for the topics that we're currently covering in college so that I can just quickly take them out when I need them now I need to just organize my day folder and make sure that everything I need for this week is in there okay so now that my schoolwork and my room and everything is clean and organized we can actually get on to planning the next couple of weeks of my life which is going to be very intense but I'm going to show you a way that I think is quite effective quite an effective way of doing it because there is a lot of content in A-levels and obviously we don't have a huge amount of time left so it's going to be really important to prioritize and actually do active revision and make sure you're not actually wasting your time when you're revising. So what I did for my year 12 mocks, my year 13 mocks, the mocks I've just had, like every single set of mocks, I have made a content checklist and I've used um, rag rating, which is basically where you red, amber, green rate each topic in terms of how well you think you know it. And then you can start with the red topics, which are like the ones that you don't know or you're not very confident on. So I'm just going to go ahead and find all of my topic lists that I've already made. And I'm basically going to re-rate them because obviously the way that I rated them even a few weeks ago it might be different to how I feel about them now and different to what I want to start with now. So let me go find those. Cause baby like So this is a bit of an example of one of my checklists that I've done for psychology. So all the different methods of revision that I want to do. And also I've like rated how I feel about each topic. Honestly, paper two is not looking good because I have not covered this since December. So there's a lot of red and orange, um, but that's literally just because I can't remember any of the evaluations anymore. Not necessarily because I don't know the content. So I'm hoping this won't take me too long to get through, but we're gonna go and do chem and bio right now. Now I've gone through my documents for chemistry, biology and psychology and I have red, amber, green rated every single topic slash subtopic slash thing that I need to do, bullet point on the specification. Um, and now the next thing I'm gonna do is so this is kind of what they're looking like. They're kind of very mixed depending on what I prioritise for my mocks. So the things that I revised most my mocks are mostly green and as well as like basic things from the beginning of year 12. And then a lot of like the um, kind of early year 13 stuff I'm noticing is the red slash amber rated topics. I'm going to go through and I'm basically going to make a big list for each subject and I'm going to put my mostly red and amber topics at the top going down to kind of my most confident topics if that makes sense i'm going to have a list of all of the different topics in each and i'm going to kind of put them in order so i know where to start So basically what I like to do is I'm not going to be planning every kind of day for the next two months right up until my A-levels. I'm going to be planning it in weeks. 
I find that if I give myself like a timetable or I try and plan too far ahead, it just gets really overwhelming and really restrictive and I just don't stick to it and it's counterproductive for me. So the way that I work best is planning my week. I find that having some time on a Sunday to just sit down and decide what I'm gonna cover that week is really helpful. And now that I don't have any like crazy amounts of homework assignments and I don't have any tests coming up I can literally just focus on what I want to do and what I want to prioritize for my A-levels which I think is going to give me a lot more freedom in that sense and what I'm going to do is I'm going to refer to the lists that I've just made and I'm going to look at what is kind of my weakest area for each subject so for example for psychology my absolute weakest area in the whole of psychology at the moment is the anorexia topic in clinical I just can't remember any of it okay so this is what my revision plan for the week looks like so basically i leave saturday and sunday empty just in case there's anything i don't finish in the week or there's anything extra that i want to add in by the end of the week so it just gives me a little bit more flexibility there so then as you can see on some of the days there is definitely more in others but what i've basically done is written down the topic and some of the time i'll have written down whether i want to do blurting exam questions etc some of the time i'll literally have just written down the topic because I can decide on the day what I want to do with them. 